Hi friends, it's Julia. I'm here to share my Out With The Old and Layout Share for my November 2018 Counterfeit Kit Challenge Kit. Um, it was based on the Citrus Twist Kits October 18 Little Things Kit. And so what I did was I went through my stash and I found a paper collection that had a similar feel or a similar vibe, if you will, to that kit. And what I did, I had a kit that was uh, from SEI, SEI, <laughs> from SEI, um, and it was a card making kit. And you can see these were the the this was the instruction guide that came with the kit. Now I had previously pulled this paper kit to um, create ten cards one kit uh, or twelve cards one kit a while ago. I used it. I made the twelve cards. I put it back in my stash and called it good. So I still had a ton of paper. Um, the original kit came with uh, eighteen pieces of cardstock or of paper um, and these were solid and um, I say solid they almost had a watercolor feel to them uh, and pattern papers it had a sticker sheet and a sheet of coasters um, their coaster like chipboard um, a trim pack which I had used previously uh, a pack of overlays no I had used those uh, metal buttons no a pack of sundries no a uh, pack of specialty envelopes, yeah, I had that with this, um, and a pack of card bases, nope. Um, so most of this stuff, with the exception of the envelopes, the specialty envelopes, um, yeah, I didn't have any of that stuff. So anyway, I made quite a few layouts. Let me show you what's left of the kit. Um, so I had added in, let me show you what's left of the paper. Okay, I still had the eight and a half by eleven cardstock sheets that I had used with the previous uh, card making kit, and so that's what I have left there. And I did use several of those in making layouts, and that's all the scrap cardstock that I have left. So not a whole lot, a little, not a lot. Um, as far as paper goes, you can see, I mean, I used the heck out of this kit, and I. I still have enough I can make more layouts, but I'm tired. Um, I had actually taken this kit with me on a scrapbooking retreat that I went to with my sister. Um, and I know that I can make tons more cards with what I have left here. And I thought, I'll do that when I get home. And yeah, I didn't do it. <laughs> I made like five cards and I'm like, I'm done. Four cards. I take that back. I made four cards with it and said, I'm done. Um, you know, sometimes you just get tired of looking at paper. And that's kind of how I was with this paper. Some of this will go into my stash, some of it into my scrap bin, some of it will go right into the trash. And I don't have any qualms about throwing it because I've used it so well. Um, in my tray here, I had pulled in this uh, set of compliments from Close to My Heart. And you can see it's got chipboard pieces. It's got, um, it had chipboard letters. Uh, yeah, stickers, all of that. And so as far as the chipboard pieces, this is what I have left. A couple uh, chipboard pieces here, uh, a couple of words, and I ran those. They were just loose um, chipboard pieces, chip, chipboard letters, and so I just ran them through my little Zyron sticker maker and called it good. So that's what I have left from that as well as the stickers that I have left are, let me see, I thought I could find them easily, not quite so easily. And so you can see, I used several um, smaller stickers from here, but not like these big cacti and some of these little, I don't know what you call those, and then this tab, and then there's some hearts left. This one, I have nearly all of it. Uh, no, I have all of it, but one. I use the yellow heart sticker. I'll find something to do with those. I got pretty good value for my money with that sticker set. Um, I had added in some acetate pieces and I had used quite a few of them and I still have um, several left. I have four um, complete acetate pieces left and they have doily patterns on them. Um, and then I have one portion of one and I'll throw that in because at some point I may get that used up. I had thrown in uh, these three by four cards um, pocket page cards. 
and you can see I cut some up uh, I cut them down um, yeah I used a lot of the ones that I put in there but I still have several left these are images that I stamped I had previous images in here with the card kit and I think those are all down in the bottom uh, yeah I had cut a lot out with my Sizzix and dies that I had with the card making kit and this is what I have left over with that um, circle stitch circle shapes some um, scalloped edge shapes with different sentiments some um, oh what do you call them whirly gigs uh, yeah those things that go on a stick that the wind blows around yeah I grew up calling them whirly gigs so I don't know what the real name of them is <laughs> but you can see I have a lot of that left over from the original card making kit and then these are all ones that I thought um, that I stamped out to use with uh, cards and then I I stamped them and then cut them out and I didn't use very many of them I think I used a couple of butterflies and that was it um, when I opted to not make cards with it washi tape as far as that goes I still have a lot left oh my gosh look at that I have one two three four five six seven rolls left and I don't think any of these are just right at the end but I had put in four rolls that were close to the end that I had used up. So um, this piece here, or this piece, this roll I finished, this roll I finished, this roll I finished, and this roll I finished. And I don't know, these are older ones that came out of my stash. They're probably recollections or stamping up or close to my heart. They're from somewhere. Um, so those go right into the trash. I had added sequins in. I used quite a few, but of course, you know, you can't use those up. These are die cuts left over from a Cheeky Studio die cut pack that I added in. And you can see this. She puts uh, Tuesday Hubbard over at Cheeky Studio puts so many die cuts into her collections. And I have tons left to use at another time. You can see tons and tons left this these came these little banners came from a cut apart sheet I cut one I have like three sheets of it um, and I cut one sheet apart and used it in this kit and I still have the other two that will go back into my stash so you can see I got great use of embellishments um, in this little box I have uh, this set of arrow type stickers um, let me put something behind that. Maybe you can get a better view of it. There you go. You can see all the arrow stickers. I used quite a few. I had had several used off this sheet before I pulled it into this kit, and I got quite a bit more use out of it with this kit. So uh, it'll go back into my stash. Those are from Freckled Fawn. I had uh, pearls that I used. I have enamel dots that I used. That set of hearts and enamel dots. This uh, enamel... Um, stickers, um, enamel shapes of hearts, and then another, uh, these epoxy hearts, uh, these uh, epoxy dots from Close to My Heart, and then these puffy stickers from Freckle Fawn. And then I had some random leftovers. These are from that Tuesday, um, or Cheeky Studio kit I had bought the matching um, flare and I think it came with five and I actually five or six and I've I've got four left I didn't use these as much I pulled in this set of rubber charms and there were four in the package and I have one left this um, oops uh, acrylic piece I actually started off with a pack that had like three or four uh, shapes like this with different phrases on them and I have one left and then I had uh, I think it was three yellow cameras and three orange cameras and I only have two of the yellows left so you can see as far as the more textured embellishments I got quite a few of those used up sticker wise um, I still have quite a few and that's okay um, they'll go back into my stash um, these are from a way, way, way old Stampin' Up. This is 2005 uh, border stickers. And I got quite a few used from these sticker sheets. I was proud of myself. I picked these up from a crop that I went to on a do not want table. Um, and I was able to use some along with some of the pattern paper that came with that kit. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Uh, this is a sticker sheet that came with the with the paper pack um, and I used quite a bit and it actually had if I can get to it here we go yeah it went like this this was like a 12 by 12 sheet here um, and so I just cut these pieces off I did not use that I used several stickers from here and I know I made at least one or two titles from that this is a chipboard or the coaster chipboard piece that came with the kit and I used a couple pieces from here the two arrows and the heart um, and I think this may go into my do not want bin because um, I don't see myself using those other things but I may hang on to it for a while this is a set of stickers that came with a um, I want to say it was hopscotch I may be wrong but I had it left over from a kit and uh, I Put it in with this these are some little coaster board stickers that were left over these are se no these are freckled fawn and i think they're called crinkle paper i don't know if you can really catch the texture of them but they're they're paper stickers um i've used several of the the little pieces on it and i still have several left um i've had them in multiple kits i'm going to keep trying Label stickers, um, yeah, I got quite a few used. These two were the same pack, and I've used all but one, two, three, four, five stickers from this one, and I've used one and a half from this one. So, and oh, there's two and a half uh, from that sheet. This one I have one, two, three left on here. The rest I used up. This set I have, uh, I've used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stickers from that one. Uh, I had washi tape strips, and you can see there's two sets of the same washi tape, um, and I have three strips left on this one, and then another full sheet. Out of all of these, I have one, two, three, four, five, six left. So, I, I really got good use of those. These word stickers, they've been in my stash uh, in several kits. Um, and I'm just going to hang on to them because at some point I will probably get those used up. Uh, I used several stickers from here. One, two, three, four, five, six from this sticker sheet. These are the specialty cards that came with the kit. That are the, the, not the cards, the envelopes that came with the kit. And I have not used those. Uh, and then I added in some doilies. I only have one big one left. And uh, these puffy foam words I have three words left that were on that sheet it was already partially used so you can see I'm getting tons used with my embellishments then of course I have my letter stickers let me pick all of these up and move them letter stickers uh, these are freckled fawn I use these quite a bit these are puffy letter stickers and I use these quite a bit. I have two sheets. You can see I use like one or two stickers from there, but I use quite a few from the original sheet. This is an SEI, a Silver Valley sticker sheet, but it's not whole. It doesn't have everything on here. And I think I have the other half to this somewhere in my stash. I just need to go look for it. I have this one. I think I used once. I think I used this set once. And I use this set a couple of times. These will all go back into my stash. And then, of course, I have stamps. I had added in uh, this rainbow uh, sentiment stamp. This one is, these three sets are ones that I just won at a retreat that I went to last fall. Yeah, last fall. And I didn't use them at all. I kept trying to use them a lot, but I never ended up getting around to using them. But that's okay, because they'll go into my stash. This flower set, this flourishes set. Some of these I used, some of them I didn't. Um, and that's okay. I'm going to keep trying to utilize uh, my stamps. And I like all of these, so they'll all go back into my stash. Alright, let me move some of this out so I can show you the layout that I created. And I think I have 14 pages here. Yeah, so I have 14 pages and four cards. 
the cards I created once I got home and I was just messing around um, using up some of the stash that I had in the kit like the doilies I had added in uh, that's a sentiment that I stamped a little butterfly that I colored and cut out uh, sequins the cardstock that was there and it says wishing you rainbows and sunshine on a have a happy birthday card uh, same with this one same exact design the front of the envelope has a flourish this one a little bit different just strips of scrap paper um, all of these are scrap paper um, have a happy birthday some enamel dots and then wishing you rainbows and sunshine and then the flourishes on the front of the envelope same with this one no change whatsoever so those are the cards and then here are the layouts um, yeah this is a double page it's a birthday um, spread here let me see if you can see that get all of that into frame for you and you can see I used a piece of a doily here and a piece of a doily here um, I used chipboard stickers I used enamel dots I used uh, the silver font um, I have an acrylic and acetate um, doily here chipboard pieces stickers a bow uh, this puffy sticker alphabet I used label stickers to go behind here I used washi tape um, more stickers down here enamel dots and epoxy chipboard pieces another acetate doily here and another piece of an acetate doily back here um, and you can see uh, a rubber charm enamel dots uh, flat back pearls, stickers, bows, um, and all of this is birthday goodness and the number six here. It's because it was my granddaughter's sixth birthday. And this number strip here, I just put an enamel dot on the number six to indicate, you know, sixth birthday. Then this one is another two pager. Goes like this. So this one is uh, just called Birthday Castle. Uh, this little girl wanted um, the the Monster High birthday or the the Monster High Castle um, to play with her dollies, and so her parents got that for her for her birthday. And then my husband and I we got her like four or five more dolls that she didn't have to go with to have you know lots of toys to play with. And so here she is. This is her running in and seeing her house and getting into it and, and really having a good time and just everybody enjoying it, especially her grandpa. Her grandpa's not one to be um, bashful about pay, playing dollies with his granddaughters. And you can see all the different embellishments that I used. I have chipboard pieces, enamel dots. Um, these were corner squares that go uh, on the corner of a photo. Um, but I used them as arrows here. I have pearls. I have the clear arrows. I have more chipboard, more label stickers, and I just popped those label stickers up. I used a bunch of scraps here and cut banners all the way across. Used a label sticker here, puffy stickers, a bow, um, more acrylic pieces there. You can see I just got tons of scraps because all of these pieces of paper here our scraps um, all the way across here then all of this is scrap and then of course the washi tape I got used so I got tons of scrap paper used on that this is a single page and it's called sweet cousins and I have actually I had four photos of these two cousins together and these are going in two separate albums so what I did on this one was I did my journaling here called it sweet cousins put these are my grandkids my oldest grandson and my youngest granddaughter this is Cameron and Ellie um, and I just I I want to say it was a page map sketch but I'm not 100% certain um, I just went through and followed the design that they had and created the layout um, I used one of the word banners here and then down here I used a, a label sticker uh, this was um, an um, a vellum sticker uh, from Freckled Fawn. I just put it on white cardstock and then cut it out. And then, of course, the ones from Cheeky Studio are here. Uh, one of those enamel, um, <coughs> sorry, acrylic heart, uh, acrylic cameras. I just put a little white cardstock behind it and glued it down. Uh, some little chipboard hearts that came with the Close to My Heart um, 
stickers that I had added in. A little piece of washi strip there. So you can see I got great use out of all of my embellishments. These are all really embellishment heavy because, yeah, I could. I could. <laughs> uh, this is called Hi Cousins. Um, again, those same two kids, uh, Cameron and Ellie, um, my oldest and my youngest grandchildren. And you can see I used uh, a few little puffy stickers. I used a rubber sticker. I used these flare uh, chipboard or that um, coaster uh, piece here and here. Uh, enamel hearts. I used more of the Cheeky Studio embellishments uh, to journal on and also to pop up here with floral uh, embellishments. Uh, another camera here and then I used all kinds of scrap paper. I had a ton of border stickers that I had cut off or, or skinny pieces that I had cut off from paper and I just lined them up back behind here and created a background with them as well as using some washi tape along the way. So this is called Celebrate Family, and this is a two-page layout. Let me find the way that it goes. There we go. And these uh, are photos of my uh, granddaughter, Shawnee. She's my oldest granddaughter, the second to the oldest grandchild. And this is her here, and that's her cousin, Abigail. Um, these two, every time we have family reunion, these two get together and they just like hang out and have a blast together. Um, these are journal cards that I have cut down from those pocket page cards. These are, uh, vellum stickers that I put on washi tape, or I mean, I put on cardstock and just fussy cut around. Um, that was a chipboard phrase that came with the sticker pack from Close to My Heart. I just ran it through my Xyron sticker maker put adhesive on it and pressed it down. This one is the uh, Thickers uh, Flare. That's a piece of a um, pocket page card. Um, I have the acetate doilies here and here as well as here. Um, yeah, I popped this photo up because it's the two girls that I like this photo the best. But yeah, they were just having a lot of, a lot of fun at the family reunion. This is one uh, of my granddaughter, Shawnee. And you can see I layered up flower pieces from the Cheeky Studios, added a bow here, another bow here, um, more floral pieces, added a puffy sticker that says laugh. Those are actually bits and pieces of journal cards and I just cut them down so that I could create this background that looks like background paper. But it's actually those journal cards or the pocket page cards. I cut one down to fit all the way behind there. Use scraps of paper here and here and here and here. The whole thing is lots of scraps. <coughs> Excuse me. I had all of these wood hearts that I had added in, but I hadn't really found a, a use for them. My sister was doing a layout. Um, she was across from me, and she was doing a layout on her side of the table, and she was using some embellishment to create a layout. And I thought, oh, I can do that. And so I did. I just put this strip down and I put all of the wood veneer hearts, all of them, <laughs> on that one side just as embellishment. These two photos are um, of my two middle granddaughter or my two middle grandchildren. This is Shawnee and Zoe, uh, granddaughters. I used strips of pattern paper here. Uh, they were just scraps. And then this piece here in the center is one that was cut out, I believe, from the very first layout that I created with this kit. You can see that floral border. Um, I love this paper and I wanted to use it on everything. Um, so I saved and scrounged every little piece of this. And so you can see, um, again, I took that same idea uh, and ran with it and put all of these stickers down uh, chipboard pieces, stickers, labels, chipboard, enamel dots, more stickers, uh, a rubber piece. Um, yeah, more stickers and it's called Tech Time Together. Uh, these girls were, I think it was Zoe who was coloring in a coloring book and Shawnee sat down beside her with her tablet and she was playing that piano game where, you know, it's kind of like Guitar Hero. You know, as the notes go by, you have to click on them. Well, Zoe wanted to play too, so she got a, a different tablet and she sat down beside her and she's like, help me play. And then she got mad and she's like, tell her to help me play. And I'm like, she can't help you. You have to learn to do it yourself. So anyway, 
they had a blast sitting beside each other playing the whole time. Anywho, so there's that one. This one is called Cousins Friends. Um, and I've done this for one of their albums before. And I'll have to go back through and look and see. Because I don't remember which album I put it in. Is these two, we took them to the Science Spectrum. We got out of the car and we're walking inside. And Shawnee, as we're walking across the parking lot, she just grabs Zoe's hand. You know, more like by the wrist and was pulling her along. But it was the first time she'd ever reached out like that to her cousin. So, really sweet moment. Uh, used a doily back here. Washi tape. Again, more of these... Uh, vellum stickers that I put on white cardstock and just cut out. Label stickers, enamel dots, uh, enamel hearts, pearls, uh, chipboard pieces, uh, and lots of labels to journal on. This one is called uh, Pucker Up Buttercup. And this is just one of those moments where my granddaughter is in the mirror with her makeup. And, and that's just some place that she loves to be. She loves makeup. And she always wants to put makeup on. And so she has her own little makeup bag when she comes to my house. It's full of, you know, all kinds of stuff. And so she was here. She was in the mirror. And she was, you know, putting her lipstick on. So lots of embellishments down the side here. Another piece of a doily here. Washi strips here and here. Label stickers. Uh, these are actually, these little uh, sparkly bits here are from the Thicker's Alphabet. You know, all the extra dots that it gives you. Um, yeah. Lots of fun creating this one. I love the look of all those embellishments down one side. This is a layout called Happy Day. And you've probably, if you've seen any of my layouts, you know, I on the way to work in the morning or when I wake up and I look out my kitchen window and I see spectacular skies, I go out and I take photos or I take them when I'm pulling down my street in the morning uh, because I face east when I'm pulling out of my neighborhood. And so a lot of times I'll get really great sky shots. <clears throat> or when I walk out into my backyard, I can face east and get those really beautiful sunrise photos. This happened to be one of those mornings. I mean, really, it doesn't get any, any better than this when you wake up to art in your sky in the mornings. <laughs> and it's just uh, called Happy Day Collecting Memories. And because the Happy Day kind of blended in with the more orange background, I just, I just went through and... Uh, took a white gel pen and just wrote happy in the middle of that just to make it stand out. Use the stars and the hearts, the sequins, the the um, flare, more cut aparts here, uh, washi tape, uh, more of the um, pocket page cards, and some a little bit of pattern paper in the background, but mostly I pull the colors in from the sky. Um, you know, the purples and the beigey colors and the orange. It doesn't get any better than that if you ask me um, in the mornings. Yeah, when I can wake up to that. This was actually the first layout that I created with this kit using this floral uh, paper here uh, in these two older... I think both of those are from Stampin' Up! The green and the... This one with the green and the blue. Those are old uh, Stampin' Up! pieces of paper. And then this is one with the original kit. And it's just called Green Lights. Um, this one I had been making... I had brought a card kit along with this too. And I had a piece of paper that had these little light bulbs on it. And I cut out the green ones. <laughs> and the turquoise green and turquoise. To put onto this layout from that. Um, only because it... You know, telling my story of the green lights when it's, I think it was this year in 2016, uh, Walmart ran an advertisement to turn green lights on in the front yard, change out your lights to green for um, Veterans Day. And so we did, and we ended up leaving them out until after Christmas, until after the first of the new year. But... Um, that was our first year putting out green lights. And so I just wanted to document that. And I love that I had these, um, that pattern paper with those light bulbs all over it. And I was able to salvage some of them to, you know, add to this layout. So that's it. Uh, 14 layouts and four cards. I had a really great time scrapbooking with my sister. And, um, yeah, uh, I hope I inspired you to dig into your stash and, 
uh, pull a kit together or just get in there and create a layout. Um, I'm not one that I can sit at my desk and pull things in as I go. I have too much stuff. Too much selection really slows me down. I get bogged down and I can't I can't create that way. And so what I do, I pull these kits together using my stash with embellishments and things that are, are a little matchy-matchy, but um, they're able to go together and I can create these layouts um, and then get them into my scrapbook because really that's what scrapping is all about is getting your stuff done, uh, getting your, your layouts done and getting the photos into um, your albums, getting the layouts into albums. So I hope I inspired you. If you create your own kits, I would love to see. Please tag me. Um, yeah. Anyway, I would love it if you would flip me a thumbs up. And also, if you hit the subscribe button, if you're interested in seeing more videos like this. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.